Hey there guys, so on day one of Beowulf, I showed you a rank one clear using an EX2 Dwayne and some other units. And in the video, I mentioned that if your Dwayne happened to be EX3, you could just alter your turns, change the, you know, change the order of your actions, and it would still work fine. But a bunch of you have requested that I demonstrate that. So in this video, now that my Dwayne is EX3, we're going to go back to my original day one clear and just rerun it. And I'll show you, you know, the updated turn chart, the updated actions. So what if your Dwayne was EX3? Also, we're going to go ahead and drop Abigail because honestly, we don't need Abigail's bulk for this fight. So we're going to bring Cecil just because Cecil gives us a field. And that's really it. Uh, but the magical tank can be literally any magical tank you want. They're all going to work totally fine. Um, we're just going to bring Cecil because, you know, he has a field. So why not? Uh, so let's get in here and give it a go. So turn chart will be in the comments. Gear will be shown at the end, etc. So the one thing that this team doesn't really have is a great way to do dispels on the boss. So we could, like, for example, gear for counters and pray for RNG. But instead of doing all that, we'll just force it. We're just going to click Dwayne and normal attack on turn one. Boss's uh, buffs are gone. Uh, Melissa, on turn one, will do Chronic Flow, Parasol Shield, and Beast Killer on Rain. Cecil will start in the base form for the field and some auto buffing. Go to the shift form. We're going to Shelga. We're going to Cover, and we're going to just do his Break. Nora, on turn one, will do Esoteric Lightning, Double Conqueror, and Living for Two. Sylvie, on turn one, will do Defense, Compassionate, and Burgeoning Defense. And then Rain, in the shift form, will in this order. In Ferega, Killer Buff, and Undermine. The reason it had to be in that order is because we haven't hit the boss with Fire, Lightning, or Dark yet. So now Rain will imbue himself, and then as the last action, hit the boss with fire. So there we go. Okay, so some attacks on turn one. The morale is still pretty bad right now, so the damage is eh, a little bad, but we're fine. Okay, so on this turn, we are going to have um, Sylvie do triple. We're going to do Vines, Petals, and Bolt Egg to imbue the party with lightning. Melissa is going to do Minutes of Might. We're going to do Beast Killer on Dwayne, and then we're going to do um, just a killer buff on anyone, doesn't matter who. Let's see, Nora on this turn will put up the Accuracy buff, the Field, we'll use Burst, that's the wrong skill, we'll use Burst to, you know, imperil, and then we're going to do Esoteric Flames, um, just for a bigger fire imperil on the boss. All right, Cecil can do his LB to uh, put up mitigation that that's going to last longer. Now we're going to do the LB of Rain in the shift form, and then Atonement in Absolution with Dwayne. And we'll go ahead and deal this, deal a little bit of damage. That way, that way pushing the threshold is going to be a little bit easier on turn... Uh, we're going to do it turn 5. I, I, I know in my day 1 clear, we pushed the threshold really, really quickly. Um, that's because we had EX3 units, but you know, if you don't have EX3 units, we're going to slow it down a little bit. So, okay, so now, like I said, this video is for those of you that do have an EX3 Dwayne. So he will now do his SLB on turn three. We're going to do that as the first action. Now Melissa can put up killer buffs on anyone, doesn't really matter who. Uh, this is just for the morale gain. Sylvie is going to go to the shift form. We're going to do Thunder Amplify. We're going to do the I've Got Your Back on Dwayne to refill his LB gauge. And then we're going to do um, Demon Killer on Dwayne. Flaring Rain is going to undermine. We're going to... Now he's going to do his big buffs this turn. So we're going to do Grace of Will and Elemental Boost Fire. Nope, not yet. I have my turn chart wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. On this turn, we're going to undermine... Prominence, and Killer Buff. Yep, I was looking at my turn chart incorrectly. Okay, so now we're going to use Nora, you know, EX2 Nora. Now, if your Nora is EX3, again, just alter the turn chart. But because ours is EX2, we're going to use her LB, and then we're going to do 
um, Extreme Nova on Cecil. And this step is very, very optional. It just makes pushing the threshold a little bit easier on turn 5, but it's really not important. So we did a, we did a free 7% damage just as a little bit of bonus. Okay, some attacks right here. Now the boss, once again, put up some buffs, and, and like I said, we could use RNG with counterattack to try to make sure we get rid of it in time, but we're not going to. We're going to just force click Dwayne to perfect the spell. Boom. Handled. Buffs. Done. No big deal. So now we're going to use Melissa to SLB. Now again, if your Melissa is only EX2, it's fine. I'm doing this rotation to show you if it's EX2, it's okay. So Melissa will SLB and we'll just target Nora to um, on turn 4 to lower her cooldowns. Nora is not going to SLB, by the way. Cecil, on this turn, we're going to guard him to take less damage. This is really not that big a deal. He's going to take so little damage, but in case your tank is squishier, maybe you're using like Beatrix or Maeve or something, guarding on turn four is a little bit safer. So Flaring Rain on this turn will go ahead and do his 150 Amplify, his Grace of Will, and then his cooldown to refill his LB gauge. Sylvie is going to, in the shift form, do her LB this turn. And then we're going to have Nora is going to do, let's see here, we're going to do field. Field. We're going to put up the, nope, not that. We're going to put up the both the killer buffs, and then we're going to just Enigmatic Wave right here to seal the boss. Okay, and here we go. Let me actually change this. Real quick on my turn chart. There we go. Okay, so turn five, we are going to deal a decent chunk of damage. Now, like I said, um, yeah, Cecil, we guarded him just just in case you're using a squishier tank. If you are, you might have taken more damage, but Cecil is totally fine here. Okay, so now we're going to use the shifted LB of Rain. We're going to triple Absolute Mirror of Equity with Sylvie to chain with that. Dwayne will use his LB. Nora is just going to triple or quad. We're going to start with a three times Enigmatic Wave, and then we're going to do the Accuracy buff as the last action to refresh it, and Cecil will Scarlet Wave to support Chain. Now we're going to wait on Melissa until we're done this. So we're going to go ahead and chain this up. This may or may not deal with the damage cap. It doesn't matter. The big damage cap is going to be coming later on turn eight. That's just pushing the threshold. Now that the threshold has been pushed, Melissa will, as the last action in the turn, all-consuming darkness, and then just bar Darkja twice. That's going to stop the boss from healing a little bit. Again, really not even that important because we're going to deal so much damage on turn 8. But uh, whatever. So 2.7 damage cap done. We're going to do a really big damage cap on turn 8 though. So don't even worry about that right there. Okay. So turn 6. Wait for all this to finish. Okay, Dwayne is going to SLB on turn 6, and now we're going to SLB Nora, finally, on turn 6. Sylvie will, in the shift form, do Thunder Amplify. We're going to do, let's see, Clever Paladin Strike and Defense Buff. Paladin's Defense for the Mirage. Rain will just do Undermine, his cooldown on the base form, and Prominence. Uh, Melissa can do Parasol Shield, will do Shared Immunity, and then, really doesn't matter, Curie got a heal if you need it, who cares? Cecil will do Cover. We're going to do his cooldown break, there's no task I'm not equal to, and then Shelga. Okay. Give me one second, I'm changing my turn chart. I saw a small mistake. Okay, there we go. Okay, so turn seven, we're gonna again just be doing some setup. Uh, let's see here. So rain has really nothing to do. We can just like triple bolting, undermine, you know, pulverizing, prominence. It really doesn't matter. Don't push the boss below 50 if you can help it. Uh, we're gonna use Sylvie to do in the shift form demon killer on Dwayne. We're going to do not so fast to get rid of the boss's attack and magic buff, and then just clever or whatever. Uh, Nora, on this turn, will be getting ready for bursting. So we're going to, let's see, field. Oh, I'm doing it wrong. 
So we're going to Field. We are going to Esoteric Lightning. We're going to Enigmatic. And then we're going to finish off with her 150 Amplify. Dwayne is going to Arcane Supplementation. We're also going to Oath of Daybreak to reapply his own Fire Amplify. And then 150 Fire Amplify himself. Uh, let's see. Cecil. Now this turn is going to be some kind of painful damage. You can guard your magic tank. We're just going to use Omni Cover for the 90% mitigation. And then doesn't really matter. We can just break twice. Uh, Melissa on this turn can do Beast Killer on Rain. And then really doesn't matter. Killers, whatever. For more morale gain, you can Shelga, you can heal. Whatever you really want at this point. It doesn't matter. Okay. And then here's some attacks on your tank. Turn 7 is a very painful turn. But, um, you know, with Cecil, who cares? Or Abigail, like, who cares? Okay, so on turn 8, we're going to deal with the damage cap and finish off this boss. So what we're going to do, as the starting action, Melissa will do Seconds of Support on Dwayne. We'll do Minutes of Might. And then we'll do Beast Killer on Dwayne. Because he is our highest damage dealer. Rain will triple Pulverizing Force. We will use Cecil to Scarlet Wave to match Rain. Sylvie on this turn will do um, her Shifted LB for the mod buff. And now we can do the fully powered up LB of Nora and Dwayne. And that'll be our damage cap and probably a really big damage number. So here we go. There it is. And we'll see what we did. We need 2.5 or better. And we did. Drum roll, please. 4.6. 4.6. Like I said, turn 8 is going to be our big boy damage. So 4.6 billion damage on turn 8. So there it is for you. And here is our damage breakdown. Dwayne, as I've mentioned, is incredibly powerful if you do all his setup. And we are doing all his setup. Uh, Rain, still pretty good. And then Nora... Um, unfortunately, is only EX2, and she doesn't have, uh, you know, any leftover Clash gear for her. But her damage is still pretty decent. Not the greatest, though, honestly speaking. She's more of, like, a kind of support unit. That's why I said I don't think she's going to be super critical to chase, but she is still pretty decent. Anyway, here is the team we went with. And as you saw, we did 4.6 billion damage on turn 8. So if your gear is not as strong, you're still going to overcap by a huge amount. So the flexible units in this clear would be uh, Cecil, can be replaced by really anything you want. Um, Melissa is really good for morale gain, but other than that, she doesn't really bring anything specifically needed. Um, the killer is coming from Nora, so if you don't have Melissa, you could swap her out for someone else to fill the morale gauge. Even Kresnik may work, um, or just bring like another DPS, you know, whatever you want really. Uh, Sylvie is a little bit of a big deal because we're using her amplifies and all, but hopefully everyone has Sylvie at this point. Uh, and then the, um, the rest of the team, the damage dealers, like these are some good damage dealers, but again, we overcapped by so much, just swap them out as needed. Anyway, here is the team that we used. So, Melissa, um, honestly, whatever, just morale stuff, who cares, morale. Cecil, in the base form, is Celestite Rod, Treasured Ring, Cozy Scar for the auto mitigation, his armor for the field, and then, really, whatever, that's it. Shift form is just bulk, as much bulk as you can fit. I mean, he's got 10,000 attack power, he, I mean, magic, I mean, oh god, spirit. Um, but he doesn't have any um, leader skill in this current clear. Uh, Scarlet Wave and Eye of the Dragon for support chaining, so, you know, it's optional. And then an HP card, so there you go. Uh, Nora is damage versus demons, machines, and beast. There it is. LB damage. She is maxed on everything. Um, flaring rain, same thing. Maxed on literally all, all three, plus maxed LB damage. There's his setup, his own card. Shift form, pretty much the same thing. There it is. Uh, Sylvie is our passive provoker with evasion, so make sure someone is provoking with evasion. Um, preferably not your tank. It's, it's, better if, it's better if your tank is not the Provoker. Um, so there we go. Other than that, dual wheels and a morale card and, you know, whatever. Uh, and then Dwayne is, you know, damage versus the race combo. He is, again, maxed on literally everything. And there we go. Okay. Hope it helps.
turn chart will be in the comment. You can mix and match as needed, but there's the updated clear showing you how to do it if your Dwayne is EX3. If your Dwayne is EX2, go back to my day one video. It works totally fine. Okay, see you in a bit.